In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use automation to actually automate your Slack onboarding. Slack is a very important part of my agency and a key way of how we actually interact and communicate with our clients. I'll be taking you through a live build of automation that will automatically create new channels for new Slack members, set channel topics, invite relevant team members, send welcome messages, and much, much more. Onboarding is the first impression you actually have on your clients. So it's important to use automations like the one I'm about to show you in this video to make that transition between sales and onboarding as seamless as possible. And that's a key way to actually maximize your client success. If you're wondering who this random guy in the orange hoodie is, my name is Leo. I'm the CEO and founder of Fluximate. We help agency owners all over the world to help scale proof systems using automations like the one I'm about to show you today and different internal tools. We've been using Slack every single day for just under a year. And in this video, I'll be showing you the easiest automation that you can literally steal from me and implement within your agents to automatically onboard new clients or new team members to your Slack channel on autopilot. This will avoid any delays in your onboarding process and also save you a couple hours a month if you're doing this manually previously. Let's get straight into it. So guys, for this video, all I want to do is build out two very, very simple automations. And to do that, we need to pick a no code tool. Now, the two main ones that everyone talks about are Zapier and Make, and in reality, it doesn't really matter which one you use. Both of them have very, very similar functionalities. If you want my honest opinion, I would say Zapier is probably a bit more beginner friendly, but at the same time, it is a bit more expensive, whereas Make is slightly cheaper, I believe, but you can probably do a bit more with it at the start. At the end of the day, these two tools are quite interchangeable to be honest and both of them have free 14 day free trials i believe so i would recommend you set up a free trial for both of them test them out and see which one you prefer we literally use both every single day for our different partners so it doesn't really make a difference to us but for this example we are going to use make.com and this is the automation we're going to be building every single time a client is closed we want to create a new slack channel for the client we want to set the channel topic we want to invite any relevant team members that we have we want to send a welcome message to the client and we want to create a task to actually invite the users to their Slack channel. A very, very annoying thing about Slack is that you can automatically invite users. They actually have that functionality to automatically bring people onto your Slack. However, you don't have access to that API unless you have an enterprise account, which is super annoying because I don't have that, but it is possible, just not something I'll be able to show you in this video. Another important notice I'm going to say for this video, I'm going to be acting as if I'm onboarding a client, but in all honesty, this is just a general guide showing you how you can actually automate your Slack onboarding. So you can apply this exact same thing when you're onboarding a new contractor, a new employee, stuff like that. Just bring in someone to your Slack channel. It's time we actually start building this automation, guys. So let's head over to my Make account so we can actually begin building this out. All right, guys, so I've gone ahead and actually opened my Make account, and we're just going to head over to the scenario section and the top right hand corner to actually create a new scenario. All right, guys, so I'll be completely honest. This is actually my second time recording this video because halfway through the recording, I got attacked by a fly, as you can see right here. Oh, oh my God. And I don't know what happened, but I must have messed up the setup, the audio. It just wasn't working. So this is actually my second take recording this. But don't worry, guys. It just means I got some practice and I can actually do this better for you guys. So guys, right before I cut out, I was going through the trigger of this automation. So I'm just going to delete this so we can start again live. The trigger of this automation will depend on what you guys are specifically doing. So for example, if you're integrating this as part of your onboarding process, the trigger could be uh, updating your CRM. It could be a new payment coming in through Stripe. There's a lot of different possibilities depending on your specific case scenario. So for this example, the trigger is just going to be a random set of values. We're only going to import the name, the email, and the company name. Now, obviously, if you're doing this properly, you'd get this information from a CRM or from a payment processor. I don't, I don't want you guys to focus on the trigger too much for this video, which is why I'm just leaving it as a basic trigger. The first thing we actually want to do is to create that new channel for the clients. So to do that, we're going to add another module right here. We're going to look for Slack, and then we'll scroll all the way down to create a channel. In order to add your Slack connection, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is press this little button right here and it'll basically give you a prompt to log into your Slack account. It is very simple. There's two different types of connections. There's a user connection and there's a bot connection. Now, the user connection is probably what most people are doing. If you're doing this properly, I'd recommend setting up a bot connection. Now, that is a bit more complicated and I have another video planned out talking about Slack bots and how to actually use them. So for this example, I'm just going to go for a simple user connection. However, if you're doing it properly, I would recommend setting up a Slack bot connection just so the specific automation isn't tied into a specific user. But now we've gone ahead and created a module to actually create a channel and I'll zoom in a bit here so it's a bit clearer. We actually need to name the channel and decide whether it's private or not. For this example, I will leave it as private and we actually need to input the name. 
However, guys, this isn't a symbol. I just put in this here because Slack has a convention that you can't have any special characters and you can't have any uppercase letters. So for this, all we're going to do is go ahead and delete this, go over to our text function settings, and I'm going to find this lowercase, which as you can see here, it just transform everything from any uppercase letters to lowercase. And then we're going to want to go ahead and input that company name from our previous step right there. So that should be all right now. So if you press OK now and we actually run this via automation, you can see the Slack channel has been created and we have that unique ID right there with everything in lowercase. As this is the completed automation, and one thing I forgot to mention is that if you want access to this automation blueprint, so you can just copy and paste it and download it within your make account, all you have to do is check out the first link in the description. We've started doing these free digital products, which are basically a combination of any of the resources we use for each video. Every single video from now on will have its own digital product attached where you can download things such as the mind map that we use or different automations, different templates, anything like that. As with everything else on this channel, it's 100% free. So if you want access to that, to actually follow along to what we're going to be building out today, you can check out the first thing in the description to get free access to that. Let's get back to the video. The second thing we want to do now is set a channel topic. Now, obviously, guys, this is not essential at all, but if you're going to automate it, you might as well. So all we're going to do is add another module. We're going to connect Slack again, which has been verified. And then we're going to scroll down to channel again. And here we want to set the topic of the channel. Now, for this, we're going to change this to private channel. We want to select by the name. And we are going to map this. So if we go over here to map, and we can enter that Slack channel ID we just created. And then for the topic, I'm just going to keep it super simple, guys. Obviously, you can expand this however much you want when you're doing this properly. But I'm just going to put the company name. And I'm going to put channel for communication. It's super simple, guys. Um, you can add as much as you want. But as always, I want to go ahead and run it. So I'm going to copy that channel ID that we just created. So just so we don't end up creating a bunch of different channels. And I'm going to run this module early, type in that channel ID, and then the company name, I believe, is Marketing Inc. So let's go ahead and complete it. And now, guys, if I open up Slack to just show you what this looks like, you can see we have that channel topic right there, which is Marketing Inc. Channel for Communication. Very simple, guys. So, guys, we've gone ahead and created our Slack channel. We've gone ahead and set a channel topic. The next thing we want to do is actually invite relevant team members. Now, when I say invite relevant team members, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. For this example, I'm just going to add one of my customer success managers, Selena. The use case here is that if you have a customer success manager or a VA, for example, that helps you out with every single one of your clients, instead of you telling them to join the channel or adding them manually, you can do this to automatically add them to the channel so they're actually there, ready to greet your client as soon as they get onboarded. For this is another very, very simple module. All we're going to do is add this little plus button right here. We're going to once again connect Slack. And if we scroll all the way down to users, we can see invite user. Now, once again, again, we want to connect that channel that we created in a previous step, which is a private channel. And we're going to map this just by connecting that client ID from a previous step, which is right here. Then you're going to want ahead and you're going to go ahead and select a user, which for this example will be Selena. Just like that, guys. I'm going to press OK. And then I'm going to run this module to actually test it out using a Slack channel ID from a previous step. Press OK. And it's gone ahead and invited the user. So obviously you want to go ahead and double check that in Slack. So if we open up Slack, you can see Selena has been added to marketing by Leo Floximate. Very cool, guys. All right. The next thing we want to do is send a welcome message. Now, even though your client might not join straight away, when they join, they'll be able to see the previous messages that you have. So sending a nice little welcome message is a great way to actually do it. Now, there is a way to actually trigger this. So you send a welcome message whenever they join. However, that is a bit more complicated. And honestly, not entirely necessary. But if you do want to see a video on that, I'm more than happy to record it for you guys. But this example was going to be sending a generic welcome message when we actually first create that channel for both the relevant team members and for the new client. So when they join, they can go ahead and initiate different tasks and anything like that. So for this example, I'm just going to press a little plus button. I'm going to go to Slack again. I'm going to scroll down to create a message. Here will be the exact same thing. You can connect your connection. Now for the channel ID, once again, we're going to enter manually and we're going to index that from the first channel we created in our second step, which is the channel ID right here. Now, guys, you can leave this as text, but when I usually send messages in Slack, I actually prefer to use the block kit builder, which is something that you can't actually do in Zapier. So that's another advantage of make. If you have no clue what that is, give it a second to load. 
this is all it is. It's just a way that you can actually automatically generate a code for your Slack messages, with different buttons and text. And if you wanted to have this, for example, all you have to do is copy and paste this onto the block kit with a make and it automatically send this. Obviously, it's not necessary, but I just prefer it because you can do much more things like different buttons, give an example where people can interact with it, radio boxes, you know, a lot of different options. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to go ahead and type in a quick message and I'm going to go ahead and copy that HTML or whatever they're using and paste it in with a make. All right, guys. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and typed a very, very simple message. Now I'm just going to go over here and select all of this and head over back to make. Same exact step. And then for blocks, I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in. The only thing I want to change here is the actual name. So if I move this up and I go over to the first text where I actually mentioned the name, I want to just include their name. Just to make it a bit more personalized, guys. And for that, we're just going to use that. One of the first triggers from the onboarding, which is Ronald McDonald. Now you can format this and remove the second part if you want, just by going to the formatting options, by selecting split. There you go. But we're just going to leave it and put the full name. And once again, guys, we're going to test everything that we're doing. One thing actually I need to do before we move on is change this. If you don't, it will just send it as a bot. Uh, I always like to change it up a bit, make it a bit more fun, I guess. So for this, for the icon emoji, I'm going to put robot underscore face. Make sure to use a Slack emoji. And then for the username, I'm going to put onboarding bot. Just like that. Press OK. Let's go ahead and actually test this out, guys. So now as you can see, we've gone ahead and actually created that message, which I'm going to hop into Slack to double check. Everything's looking the way it should, which as you can see, it does. You can see that message. Hello, Ronald Donald, which is customized based on that trigger. Welcome to your Slack channel where we will be communicating throughout the rest of the project. Let us know when you've joined by sending us a quick message. Here's some important links you can you will need later on. And I've added a link to our YouTube channel, which if you press that, it goes ahead and automatically creates. Since that's our YouTube channel on a different tab, let me drag this on so you guys can see. That's what you guys are watching right now. And if we close this and then book a call, it'll take us to a link to actually book a call. Which once again, I'll show you guys here. Because it keeps loading another different tab. Very cool, guys. Now, guys, like I said at the start of the video, there is a way to automatically invite Slack users to your Slack account. However, in order to access the API, you need to have an enterprise account, which at the moment I don't have. Hopefully, they'll release that to the public. They're having a bunch of different updates. I think just today they added three new features where you can actually align the sections for everyone in your team, whereas before you had to do it manually, which is so annoying. So instead of automatically inviting them to their channel, as in the guest user, so the client or the new team member, we're going to create a task to actually invite the user on a different Slack channel. So for this, we're still going to stick with this automation. We're going to add another module. It's going to be Slack again. And all we're going to do is send another message. The key thing here is that this message will be on a different channel. Let's say a channel where you have all your different VAs or team members. Just reminding your team members to actually send that invite to your client manually. So for this, we're going to do the exact same thing. This time I'm going to select from list a public channel, which I believe is testing. Perfect. And obviously if you've done this properly, I'll use blocks. But for this example, I'm just going to go, please invite. And I'm going to get that email from the trigger to the, get the channel name channel ASAP. Just like that guys. And if you go ahead and press OK and actually test that and head over back to Slack to the testing channel, it's going ahead and work successfully. Now guys. Another thing I would recommend doing within Slack is doing the exact same kind of alert with the same message, but instead of having it for when a new client actually joins, having it for a new payment alert. For example, we have what we call a winner's channel where every single time we get a new payment, it posts the payment, the amount of the payment and who actually paid it on the channel to actually motivate the team, let everyone know they're doing a good job. That's something else you can add within a Slack onboarding. There's a lot of different things you can play around with, but this is a general overview of how you can actually automate your client onboarding on Slack. And I'm, now that we've gone ahead and created this, I want to change this to a couple of different values so we can actually test this again. So I'm just going to change this to the Fluximate. The email this time is going to be fluximate at gmail.com. And for the company name, we're going to put YouTube. Let's say we just closed YouTube as a client. It would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> so we're going to press OK. And now we're going to run this whole thing from the start. So we'll sit back and let the magic do its work. As you can see, it's gone ahead and done everything for us. Now it's time to open up Slack to make sure everything's worked properly. So let's go ahead and close this, open up Slack. And as you can see, we've got a new channel right here called YouTube. 
if you open it up you can see the channel topic has already been set for youtube channel for communication selena has been added to the youtube channel which is my customer success manager and we have that initial message from leo flux mate just welcoming us to the slack channel with the different buttons to the youtube channel and to actually book a call if necessary if we open up the testing channel as well we can see that we have that message coming in asking us to invite the relevant email to the youtube channel which is the name of the channel as soon as possible and that's pretty much it guys that's actually how you can actually automate your slack onboarding oh quick video today but i think it's an important asset and obviously guys you wouldn't have this on its own you wouldn't just create a slack channel when you onboard a client you would integrate this within your onboarding automation and do a bunch of different things like creating contracts creating payment links updating the crm informing customer success manager sending out emails there's a ton of different things you need to do as part of your onboarding process so if you want a video breaking down what i would call the perfect onboarding process you can check the video up in the top right hand corner for more information there's a lot of different more options that you can do in terms of automating slack i don't know if you guys saw make but i think they have about 20 different things you can do from searching for messages deleting messages uploading files there's a ton of different things you can do and with the use of slack apps which is a whole nother video on its own you can do so much really really supercharging your slack channel i am going to record another video on slack apps how to set them up and the different use cases they have for them but guys and it's an extremely valuable tool remember those buttons that we actually set up in our first message slack apps are a way to actually make those buttons and activate them as part of your workflow so for example when a client first joins in let's say they want to click one of those buttons that can activate a whole workflow and send them another welcome messages or a different resource pack for example slack apps is an extremely powerful tool we play around with it it's one of the main reasons why we actually use slack so much because it's very easy to actually automate that into your different workflows and integrate everything so seamlessly but like i said guys i will record another video going over slack apps if this video was valuable make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you're watching to the end you're probably interested in different ways you can actually automate your agency using automation and different internal tools to really really set up a skill proof agency i put together this document it's about 20 different pages and it goes over exactly how you can automate your agency using skill proof systems in order to access this amazing tool that we put together for you guys all you have to do is fill out the short form in the description it takes about five minutes i believe but guys don't worry you're not just going to get access to the document you're going to get your onboarding process optimized based on your specific pain points your client journey optimized once again based on your specific pain points and five different automations as well as a step-by-step -step guide on how you can actually set them up based on your specific pain points and the current obstacles you're encountering within your agency it's an extremely valuable tool and if you're really really interested in setting up skill proof systems like the one i've shown you today but for your whole agency then i really recommend checking it out Another thing we started doing, guys, is incorporating free digital products for each video. So any resources that we use, like the automation blueprint or this mind map that I've been going over for this video is now available for you guys. All you have to do is check out the first link in the description and actually download the pack. It's 100% free and just another way that we can provide more value to you guys through the YouTube channel. That's it from me, guys. We're releasing a bunch of videos this week. So if you like this content and you want to see more like it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. You sh definitely shouldn't be doing any of this manually. So if there's a way to automate it, there's no reason for you to take 10 minutes of your day watching this video and actually setting us up within your make account or whatever automation tool you're using. Once again, thanks for watching. It was a pleasure actually recording this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.